air and on the air on the air hey what is up everybody this is john from magic tech review how are you guys doing tonight in tonight's video we're going to be talking about some cool deals some good specials some doing some q a i got a cv tech with me what's going on bro oh man not a whole lot man how you doing oh you know you know hanging and banging you know what i'm saying chilling i didn't get notified that you went live man oh dang Dang, dang, dang. So, well, we got some people in here already. Got Ismo, got TechWiz, got the individual thing. Hooray. So, be, yeah. Show enough. Yep, yep, yep. So, we're going to be up here for about 30 to 40 minutes. Not like a long live sheet tonight because I do got to work my other job that I got. But uh, TechWiz says I got notified, notified. So, that's what's up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, so we got a few topics, free cricket wireless service with a Moto X4. That's one of the topics right there. And then we also got, um, some other stuff, I guess we can talk about as well, but, um, yeah. anything that you, anything come to mind that you want to talk about real quick, CV? Uh, not, not really, not particularly at the moment. No, uh, I do got a couple of unboxings coming. Um, one is a phone and one is a, just something else. So Ooh, mystery. Mysteries. Yeah. So this is a mystery. Item. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm still going to be doing that. I 10 wireless or I 10 earbuds video. Um, I'm holding off because there's going to be uh, a free two day shipping. Cause right now I think it's like 10 to 21 days or whatever, but these things are banging. Let me let you know, guys, I use them like every day now. Awesome, awesome little uh, knockoff AirPods or whatever. Pretty much one to one, but yeah, dude told me to hold off or whatever until he can get the two free day shipping instead of the ten to twenty one days. So look for that. And there's a comment says hello from Winston Salem, North Carolina. Hey, what's going on? What's going yes. on? How's things in Winston Salem? <laughs> so where's my lady Red? She has a headache, so she's not a. Uh, She's not coming on tonight. I did invite Mill Hustles, so you better be coming on here. Uh, no, but so let's talk about the little uh, free cricket service with a Moto X4. So Moto X4 is pretty, pretty decent device. I think we sell it at uh, Target Mobile. Uh, Target Mobile. Yeah, yeah. Target Tech. Target Whatever. Tech. I'm mixing up. Target Tech. It used to be called Target Mobile, apparently, before I started working there. So and they still call us Target Mobile sometimes on the on the radio. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do you know those? Do you know the Moto X4 uh, specs offhand, there, bud? Uh, all I know is got a five point two inch screen. That's all I know about it, man. I I really I I've looked at the Moto X4 several times, um, mm -hmm. but I've really never looked at the specs. To be honest with you, uh, I know that they're decent. I'll pull them up here here in just a second, actually. Boop, 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 boop. Here it is. Okay, so basically, this is this is what you get. In forty, get a forty dollar, um, forty dollar month of credit with Cricket on the five on the five gigabyte plan. You get a, and you get a three in one SIM card. Plus, you get the Moto X four. Says it was released in December of two thousand seventeen. So, but this article from, and this article by the way is from CNET dot com. So you guys knew. Uh, let's see here. So let's see. So it's a 32 gigabyte model right there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I've seen the specs. Uh, has a USB C headphone jack, dual lens rear camera setup, expensive slot. Uh, really? Oh, review right here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh oh, yeah, I don't see. I'm not looking, not seeing specs right here. Great. Okay. Under, under Tommy James says it's a really good device, and Android One is running. It's running Pi, so uh, Android One's really good. You know, I got mm -hmm. one. I think I have one phone run, running Android One, which is the Nokia six point one. That's a pretty. It's a pretty nice device. What kind of processor is it running? Uh, it's a 630. So, so actually, it's about the same 
the same specs as the you know Kia 6.1, the 630 with 3 gigabytes of RAM and storage being 32 gigs. So it sounds a lot like the uh, Nokia 6.1 uh, that I have with Android One. So um, if it's anything like that, it's a great phone because the 6.1 is a really good phone. Yeah. Yo, this cat is bugging. Look at him. He's just like, yo, I'm taking Oda. Get, get you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this too, yo. Yo, he, he's like, because the mic is like fuzzy. He's like, he likes the mic. All right, Buddha. <laughs> Dude's like, it's my time to shine. All right. Anyways. So that was uh, Buddha's interruption of the night. So... So there you go, four hundred and forty-eight dollars, one hundred seventy-eight dollars, no, one hundred forty-eight dollars. I think that's pretty, pretty good deal, right there, it's especially with the forty dollars. I mean, could go much worse. Um, but yeah, um, and then also Sprint. I don't, I don't know if this deal is still going on. Uh, apparently, it was still going on, but Sprint, man, and their free year of service and all that, man. I mean, fifteen dollars. Like, how can how can Sprint still be alive, man, when they're like giving away their service? It just makes your it makes the service feel so cheap when they do that, you know. Well, you know, I remember last year they offered that. You know, if you pour it over, you get a free month of service or a free year of service. But they terminated that real quick, I guess, because they got an overwhelming, you know, poured in to get free service, and they just was like, okay, we we can't we can't do this, you know. Mm-hmm. And that was off the market very quick. So, um. You know, I mean, you can't beat free when it comes to, you know, getting a, getting unlimited everything for a year. Uh, even if your coverage ain't the greatest, you know, you can't beat you can't beat it. Right. I'm just saying, like, dude, like, how can you like it just devaluates your, your service? It makes I mean, dude, it just like. And then they gave it they were given away for 15. Remember that they, they did the 15 dollar one. They're like, oh, OK, we're not going to. We're not gonna do free, but if you want to, guys want to pay fifteen dollars, like, <laughs> dude, you got they gotta have some pride, man. Like, like that's why nobody nobody wants Sprint because they're like, you know, everybody's like, oh man, this is just a throwaway company, throwaway service, you know. Yeah, Curtis Bradley, I I, I agree with you. I'm loving the F1 as well. I'm actually on the F1 tonight. Um, uh, with with John here, um, which mm-hmm. I jumped on their report in for 15 for unlimited. Now they offer only tw- 25. Now I did activate on Boost Mobile when they when they when they done the bring your own device uh, deal for 25 a month flat was for unlimited with like 12 gigabytes of hotspot and i still have that plan actually never put any money on it but i activated it with a bring your own device and um hey it's uh, it's it i still have it so that's what's up i mean imagine verizon that dude that would be like everybody would laugh they'd be like oh is this april fools like, come on yeah, Ver- Verizon psh, wouldn't give you free water if you, uh, you know, if you're thirsty. Yeah. Kenneth says I should get the Galaxy S10e when it gets below seven. I wouldn't get the S10e for one reason, and that is for a reason that I mentioned in the Umidigi One Max video is that I would never buy another side mounted fingerprint scanner phone again. Um, so if I was to get a Galaxy S10, which I probably never will, because honestly, I just can't afford it, then it'd be the, it'd be the actual, just a regular S10. What's mm-hmm. going on, Lady Red? How's it going? Would AT&T get free water? LOL. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'm, I remember saying. I remember saying that. Like, I got so pissed at somebody. I was like, man, I would on fire. <laughs> You're cutting out some, man, a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, Javon Sims, is the Nokia 2V a good buy? Honestly, I put the 2V up and I never touched it. I haven't touched it since. I mean, if you're wanting a phone to make phone calls, send text messages, watch YouTube, and do very minimal of nothing, then yeah. I mean, it's got dual front firing speakers. Uh, stereo speakers sound really good. Uh, the screen, I think, is HD. Um, and overall for just a very, very low 
phone that you really don't want that you can't that you literally can't do much with then i think for like 39 49 bucks they're selling it for is not a bad deal but just for a few bucks more you can buy a regular android phone uh that's going to perform much better uh but like i say if you want just a basic you know no frills talk text watch youtube maybe the occasional social media you know when they even include the light versions of the app um then that's good for that but other than if you want to push it any at all it just it it, it just it suffers hmm. yeah man I, I so how do you think these companies are going to combat people buying these flagship phones and or whatever and not upgrading to the next thing man a lot of people are keeping their phones nowadays because they don't see nothing wrong with them. Like, you know, back yeah. in the day, it used to be like, you know, the next generation used to get really big hardware spec bumps and everything like that. Like nowadays, it's just like, you know, yeah. a couple of like, here and there, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just kind of one of those things, you know I mean? I mean, I had the Galaxy S9. It wasn't a bad phone, but it wasn't worth the money to me. I mean, my essential phone runs just as good as the S9. And I got other phones that actually just for regular what I do for what I do, what I do with the phone. I got some phones for 200 bucks that works just as good as the S9, where, where of course, the S9 shines is this camera. But for what I use now, everybody uses their phone differently, you know. But, I mean, most people that buy the $1,000 phone, you know, buys these really high end phones only use about a quarter to 50 percent of what the phone can actually even do. So, I mean, you know, it's nice to have them. But if you can get a phone or, or find that diamond in the rough that that you can get for a couple hundred bucks that for what you use your phone for works fantastic and works great. Save the money. I think my, I think that's just my thought. Yeah, I think I think people are kind of waking up. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of like they they've been in this whole thing and this grind, this grind, grind, especially with the post paid and the contracts and you know, you used to get the phone for, you know, no money or for free for a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. Now they're realizing that they have to pay every month, you know what I'm saying? It's like that and that hits that you know, it might not be too much for you know, twenty bucks, twenty five bucks per month. But you know, when you got a whole family full of lines, four or five lines and, you know, everybody wants a new iPhone. It's like 40 bucks. And then you got, you know, times five. I mean, come on, dude. That's not, you know, it's not cheap. So. Yeah. And I mean, I was actually, you know, and not that I was going to buy any, any, any new Galaxy phone. But if I, but my, my thoughts were, if I, if, if I was going to buy one, it would have been the S10e until I found out that I had a side mounted fingerprint scanner. Um, so, that, so that made me go, well, I would get the, S10 because you know the in the in screen the sensor because I, I mean mm. yeah but anyway the Pixel it's, three that's that's what I wanted to talk about as well I think I have that in the title the Pixel three XL actually at Target Tech right now it was four hundred and fifty dollars off um I think it was like a couple weeks ago but now it's four hundred and fifty dollars gift card that you get just for purchasing that thing. Yeah, I, I think honestly, if I was going to buy a phone that was really expensive like that, it would be the Pixel 3, not the XL, but just the Pixel 3, because I don't have to have a, you know, a tablet for a phone, you know, it just, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos on it and it looks like it would, like it does everything in a really nice form factor of a phone and a stock Android as well. If yeah. Yeah. You got to bring the donuts. I'm just yeah. saying, like, yeah, Frank Miranda. See, see, that's what we were talking about the other night. You know, I mean, like those who, you know, there's not going to be many people on a prepaid network going to be able to drop a thousand dollars for a phone. You know, but when, it, but like you, like you said, you're trading your Note Nine for the S10 plus five fifty credit. That that's the way to do it, honestly, and that's where probably most of their sales is going to come from. Is those who already have S nines or S eights or Note series phones, and you know they trade them up, and then they get half off the phone, and that don't sound like nowhere near as bad of a deal. So, you know, you know that's that's where I feel like that you know that they're going to you know cater to. 
Uh, most is those on a post pay where they can get that really massive credit by trading in their old phone. So that's what's mm-hmm. so that's what's up. Yeah, I, I've um, there's a lot of people that come to Target and they're surprised we actually give gift cards or whatever, you know, something off. They were like, man, at AT&T, they don't give us nothing. I, like, I thought all carriers were like, like I give you something for postpaid. I don't know how that is. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm seeing Yuma Digi talking about you know, hyping up their newest phone. They're always hyping up 48 megapixel camera. Well, you know, they can hype up their 48 megapixel camera. If it's the same phone that you're thinking of, that, that I'm thinking about, if it's the same phone that you're mentioning right now, uh, Mana, um, it, you, you can have a hundred megapixel camera, but if it, but if they don't put a good sensor and good image process and you could take a phone with an eight megapixel camera and outdo it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I know that they're really boasting that if that's the same phone, um, Jay Edgar says, I can now get the Honor 8X because it's got LTE bands. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, so you know what? This um, this new mobile G3 Plus, man, is a uh, S10 Plus killer because I'm not getting the S10 Plus, so it's dead to me. So, yeah, this is, S- <laughs> this is the S10 killer right here. <laughs> I got my I got my red new G3 right here, and I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a great phone. I mean, you know, it's two hundred bucks. Some people, you know, you know, you, you get a lot of crap about it because it is a budget phone. But hey, you gotta you, you gotta give credit where credit's due. You know. Look at that, that Frank Miranda popping the popping the cherry on the super chat. Thank you so yeah, much for that so. dollar donation, man. Really helps out the channel. Helps out Little John for his uh, monthly stuff. Yeah, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's see here. Walmart and my little silly finally started carrying cricket phones and they were all gone in four days. Oh Lord. <laughs> Man, that Huawei late though was was a beast back back way when oh, I wish I wish I wish, I wish I bought that. I wish I had I wish I had that phone, man. I wish I wish I had it. I wish I had it now. Should never I should never to return mine. I don't know why I did. I was stupid. That, been, that, that shoot, that could have been like an unopened box one, dude. It could have been like a <laughs> museum piece. No, right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, honestly, the G3 is a fantastic phone. It's a good all around phone. Very hard to find cases for. I did get my case on eBay. It is a 2D case. Um, and when you look at it in a case, it looks like it looks just like a Galaxy S9. I've got people like, is that a Galaxy S9? I'm like, nope. And I pull the cover off and it's a really nice red shiny back. And I'm like, this is no, this is no Samsung. Huawei. Huawei, yeah, the Huawei Mate. No, the Huawei Elite. Um, Art Docs is the, the new Humanity 48, 48 pixel phone is going to have better specs and build, but that Humanity F1 is killing. Yeah, that F1 is a beast. It's a beast. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of specs you're going to give the new Humanity. Oh, yeah, that, that man, what's so crazy is that Nokia 9 Pure View is only $599. At Best Buy pre-order right now from seven hundred, and if you if you get an activation, it's only five fifty. And that phone just—I mean, it's got an eight forty-five processor, six gigabytes of RAM. I can't remember the store. I think one twenty-eight storage with five cameras. I mean, that phone just looks wild. I mean, it's, it's five ninety-nine. I mean, you know, that's around the one plus six T territory. You know, so I, mean, uh, I don't. Hold on, let, let me shout out there. Rapture Ready Warriors says, Pop goes that cherry, lol. Given that three dollar donation, thank you so much, my friend. And yes, hey, that's uh, right. that's that's Lady Red's uh, security guard right there. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I ought to throw my PayPal. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Um, uh, I'm texting on my Huawei Elite right now. Grateful. Yes, I wish. I really, really wish that I I would have kept my Elite. Dude, let let's let's talk really quick. Okay, I was reading this article or whatever, and you know the uh, the phone, the eighteen milliamp, the eighteen thousand milliamp battery on that on the Energizer phone, right? Mm-hmm. But this is the this is the key points that they were talking about is that that phone does not have water resistance and it does not have a headphone jack 
that thing is so flipping huge, dude. It's like three of these put together. It's like literally, wow. Like, like how does that thing? Like, it's it's like this. If you look at it, it's like it's like it's literally like this. It's like three phones like put together, this big. How can you have a phone this big? You know, what I'm saying, and not have a headphone jack on it. That's like hey, you know, I, used rock, I used to rock a phone that thick in the nineties. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. Um, I got a couple questions here. M. Keller says, hey, CV, man, has your iPhone 6 has ever shocked you? Got a good condition one on Craigslist, and my friend says it shocks him. Uh, no, it might never shock me. Um, Ken- Kenneth Marlin says, we should start a S10 Go f- uh, fund for you. <laughs> hey, I'll give you my PayPal, man. You can go ahead and throw about $1,000 in there, and I'll buy one. How about that? <laughs> yeah, Art Dog, uh, the, the new Nokia flagship is going to be 700 but They've already knocked off 100 um, if you when you pre-order on Best Buy or 150 if you pre-order with activation. So, uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's a good deal, honestly. Yeah, Target has a uh, I think one hundred and fifty dollars off right now. Um, wow. Actually, I can I can actually look now. Uh, let me do. Yeah, eighteen thousand milliamp battery. Eighteen thousand milliamp battery and can't put a headphone jack in. That's just <laughs> that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Dude, it just it looks crazy, dude. It, like thickness of the phone and like. Like, come on, dude. Because my- you know they they said that and they have to take the headphone jack away. You know what I'm saying? And then to make it waterproof, they have to, you know, put the battery inside the thing and have it non-removable. You know, and and both those things are true with the Energizer phone. And they just they just got lazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how many days you can use that phone. I know that on my F1, I can get I, I can get three days sometimes on a fifty one fifty milliamp. So I can about imagine on eighteen thousand. All right, you have mm-hmm. a good one, our lady Red. Thank you for joining in. Whoa! You keep cutting out there, man. Let's see S ten. Okay. Hold on. You hear me? Yeah. Okay, the Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus, you get $200 gift card on AT&T or Verizon right now. For the what now? Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. Oh, okay. That is a $200 gift card. That's that's because we usually give $100, $200, $300 or $300 gift card. $200? That's a, That's pretty good, <laughs> dude. Edward asked me Edward asked CB, it's been a while. Any news on, on the conspiracy videos had to ask LOL. Oh, I got a lot, but I'm not but YouTube is not one place I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, apparently a lot of channels are love your hoodie. My hoodie hat, this thing is called a beanie, isn't it? Or a skull cap. I forget what they call these things. Look at that. Built to bring it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good phones out there without having to spend a thousand dollars on a phone. I mean, I mean, really. Mm-hmm. Are you a conspiracy theorist? Yeah, actually, I am. So, do they do they recycle pizza, dude, from uh, at uh, Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, dog, I know. <laughs> I like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I don't know who likes Chuck E. Cheese God, pizza. I, I like it. Man, I ain't been there in my goodness, it's probably been twenty five years. Uh so great ghost. Let's see. Let's see. Um, are you thinking about the new mobile G three or G three plus? Oh, okay, you're asking that about that's that Tommy James. Um Let's see. What do you like better, the Unity G F one or the new mobile G three? Both of them are good phones. But I like my F1. Um, when the G4 drops, I got a feeling I might change because um, I'm really big on new mobile. New mobile's awesome. They're 
you know, all of their, you know, um, reps or whatever you want to call them, they're awesome as well. Um, you know, so, you know, I like rocking with new mobile. Uh, the F1 is an awesome, awesome phone, but I got to feel when that G4 drops with the sort of the same specs as the F1, it's just going to, it's just going to be, yeah. I like the F1 cause I can use it on Verizon. Guys, 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 come on. We can only 16 likes. That means only. You're, you're cutting out really bad, dude. Can't hear you at all now. So no, you're you're cutting out. You sound like a robot. That you love Man, you see? I'm gonna lose connection. Yeah, yeah, I can't hear you at all. Better, worse. Um, it's kind of it's it's kind of it's cutting in and out a lot. Okay. I'm hamsters, man. <laughs> and the P60 in this phone is just wow. This P60 is awesome. Do what, man? I can't hear nothing you're saying. No, I was saying that it's pro probably because I was, I was talking crap about Energizer. <laughs> uh, no Life 2692 says, Hey, Siri Tech, what do you think about Sprint doing the free Hulu with the service? I didn't actually know they was doing that. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. but no, I actually on my Instagram posted a simple photo on the on the f1 and it turned out really good i took a few more tonight under some like low light with like night lights in the parking lot and they came out really really good yeah xda support yeah man they've been running that website for a long time and you guys follow the xda support forums and all that i don't my my instagram is cv underscore tech one i'll put it in the chat and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, whenever I put in my this here, you can just click on my little bubble beside it and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And that would really be appreciated. That's also you're, this is all I have not subscribed to CV Tech. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, this this one here this here is for Instagram and Twitter. So there you go. That's it. You get the camera update on the F1. Well, I got the March 1st update. And with the March 1st update, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, if y'all run a Nova Launcher on your F1, which I, which I run Nova Launcher on all of, on, on my phones, the recent button will stop working um, with Nova Launcher. I, you know, um, I have noticed that. It'll work sometimes. Most of the time it says force close, force close, force close. But um, I'm not sure about the camera. I mean, yeah. He says, "What about MTR? If you're up, man, if you're up here, man, and you're not, you need to go sit down somewhere, close the video. I don't even know. Go eat some milk and cookies and come um, back in three minutes." Drew Harley, I don't. Matter of fact, I, let me know if you're not subscribed to me. I'll put I mean, you in time out. Drew Harley, I don't really discuss any of that kind of stuff on on YouTube because YouTube is cracking down on all that kind of stuff. Um, they're even shutting channels down because of it so oh, i'm not yeah. even I'm, I'm not i'm not even going to mention anything like that on here oh yeah that dude's name. Oh, you don't mention that dude's name you know who i'm talking about actually i don't at the, the moment big... oh um, yeah 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 favorite features of the f1 uh everything really the battery the camera's good the screen's good the audio is really good i mean you had the one max with stereo speakers but the f1 speakers sound better being single than the than the jewels did on the one max so everything I like everything about it it's a great phone uh um, says what about mtr what about mtr Uh, what you got in the cup, man? What you got in the cup, buddy? Old Mulliella, mm -hmm. man. 
Damn. But I would definitely be. I would definitely do a video, do several videos on the F one here soon. Just haven't done, got around to it yet, but that's definitely going to be coming. Cause, yeah, it's my favorite phone right now, actually. Man, let me tell you about this. Um, what's this stupid thing? This uh, this vape that I'm supposed to be getting. Was it the Enjoy Ace? My God, mm -hmm. dude, they. Man, it's almost been two or three weeks now. Like they literally had me sign the NDA. They had me send over my ID. They had me sign a, a user agreement. They had me do a, 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 a tax. You're cutting out again well, a little bit, man. I've never bit went back. You're cutting out again. Pretty bad. It's screen going in and out a little bit. Um, oh, what's going on? What, while you're fixing that, uh, Curtis, yeah, if you go back to your stock launcher, your recent button will work fine. Um, I, um, I seen a video by a tech tuber that I watched called geeky, uh, G geeky stuff. And he thought, and he, and he made a video about the, uh, update and I asked him about if his button quit, has stopped working, but he was using the stock, I think he's using the stock launcher and he says it works fine. And when I went back to the stock launcher on oh, mine, mine worked fine. So uh, I guess if you use any launcher now with the new update. There's always something, you know. Mm. Um, honest, um, honestly, um, just quit, just quit smoking. Okay, I don't know. Uh, I'm still just something the G3, G3 Plus. I mean, honestly, if you want a little bit of extra battery life, go with the G3 Plus. But if it's not that important to you, then Either one, really. Yeah. Yo, can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. All right. No, no, no. I was telling everybody I'm doing a review for the um for the vape product thing or whatever. And they're sending it to me, you know, I'm free of charge or whatever. Uh, it's just a lot of hoops to go through, man, to get this product. I've never had that much stuff. Just like, I don't know. We'll see. Because I haven't seen Enjoy. Has anybody seen Enjoy products or anything or e in the uh, at the stores recently? Not I remember long. they were all over the place before. Yeah, I used to see them a lot of places, but I haven't seen Enjoy in a long time. Yeah. It seemed like since I quit, dude, quit cigarette, because I quit um, last January. So we're here in two, three months now. Um, man, it seems you're like cutting it's out, man. You're, you're you're still cutting out. I don't know. You figure this time of night, you wouldn't be having a kind of these kind of issues at night. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know about the whole shocking problem with the iPhone M color. I haven't seen that problem with any iPhone. Hmm. I don't know, bro. I, same, but as always, it it, it it does good for a second or two. Then it's like you kind of like start fading out, and then your screen goes back to your like MTR logo, and then you're back, and then you're back and forth. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Let me just try to like close the window, I guess, and come back. See if that helps. We still on? All I see is a black. All I see is a black screen, so I can't tell if we're actually on or not. But it still says live, so I guess we're still on. Um, so anyway, yeah, I still got, I still got the Boost Mobile Twenty Five plan. 
hate the way Nexus phones don't have SD slots. Yes, I hate whenever phones don't have an SD card slot. I, I mean, I don't care how much storage it's got. It's always nice to have an SD card slot. I should look into that. I should look into what? Because I don't remember what you said. The other thing with the phone is, is, is it says location is on but won't do GPS. Hmm. Oh, the 8X. I probably won't grab it. Um... You know, it looks, it looks like a really nice phone, a really nice phone. Uh, but right now, I just don't see it. I mean, I might later, but I don't know. Do you, are you still using your Nokia phone? Yeah, actually, I am. I used it the other day, actually. I turned it on, uh, got an update. Um, I did all the apps, threw my better SIM SIM card in there for a little bit, and all that kind of good stuff. So, didn't Google take away adaptable storage in Pi? I haven't checked, so honestly, I'm really not sure. Wow, was that a pain? I hope, I hope it's working out. <laughs> I see you. There you go. Wow. You're back. Yeah. That was such a pain, dude. I thought I wasn't going to be able to come back. It just might be this laptop, dude. Probably time to just hang it up. All yeah, right, cool. Thank you, guys. That was a weird one. So where does everybody? Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys have postpaid. Where do you? Where do your phones at? Um, Jay Egger asked, out of all your phones, which one do you like the best? What is which one do you like the best, John? What's that? Jay Edgar asked, out of all your phones, which do you like the best? Mobile G3 Plus right now. Um, I did like my Super the best, but I gave it to my wife. It's yeah. Kind of I'll, it, but whatever. With me, it's, with me, it's tough. I like the new G3. I like the Unity GF1. My, my uh, essential phone is still a great phone. It just got the newest update for March already. Um, uh, security patch, and uh, I'm really, I'm really liking those three phones. I do use my S7 at times, um, even though it's on Boost Mobile and it's still locked down to Boost. I wish I could get it unlocked. Um, but I like the S7 still, even though the S7 is several years old. It's still a great phone. Well, except for unless you run an Oreo, and then you're kind of, you know. Got to deal with a little bit, looks kind of a bad, kind of bad battery life and some lag here and there, but that's just because they want you to get the newest phones. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to do some Wish products on my on my channel too, dude. I'm going to order some Wish. <laughs> yeah, man, I seen your video, man. I watched really about the um, the whole um, asking on TV videos. You going to start doing them, man? And I think we lost John again. What's going on, C. Butler? How's it going, man? Yeah, I, I pay 400 bucks for my S7. I ain't paying a dime more for another S7. It is horrible tonight. What's up? Um, what? You're back now. Yeah. I can't get into it. Why not? Because I don't know a Okay, so what do you need to do? I keep trying to do all that little shit to hard reset it. Yeah. But it's not letting me. Oh, what phone is it? The Fortune. The Fortune? LG Fortune. Um, I can't find nothing on YouTube. To what? To hard reset it? 
Wait, wait. I've tried everything. I've tried the three button thing, the holding the button down for 20 seconds. It's not cutting off. It's, it usually takes me to, like you tell me to go to. It's um, okay. Um, I, I heard some we'll of that. We'll, we'll do it. We'll get it done. Yeah. 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 Like 50 people watching. Yeah. Let me real quick. I'll do, we'll do it. We'll get it done. It's locked, right? I can't. I can't get into it. Okay. So, you, do you need help? Uh, uh, hard resetting a fortune. Yes, LG uh, fortune. That that's easy. That's no problem. Is it power? I think it's power. Hold power and volume if, down. If right? you if you hold, the, I think it's if you. I think you either got to hold the power. And see, I I think that I think you got to push the power and the volume down, but at the same time, when it powers on, let off the volume and then press it again. What the fortune or the? Well, yeah, I keep showing you like four different ways to get in it, but I can't get in it at all. Oh, did I do I not have a video up there about the LG Fortune how to factory reset it? Sure, I do. I sure thought I did. Don't. Really? Hey. John, I'll talk to you about it when we get off this, when we get off stream. Okay. Uh, reset. I'm really getting irritated. Look at this cat. Yo, did you see it? Look at this. This dude is like, damn, he's like, yo, it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> time to go to sleep, daddy. Yo, he wants to be in the spotlight. All right, but come on, man. It's a cat. Press volume down. If you, if, if, if you, if you, if you hold it, it. I did all of it and nothing was <laughs> and it says all Android phones. If the phone's off, if you hold the power and the, and the volume down at the same time, when it vibrates and cuts song that off of the power button for just just a split second and then put it back on there and it should pop up factory reset. That's all it did. It came out with two goo bars. And then it comes back on regular. <laughs> To see how much something is, just come up with two of those. Oh, she thought about the oh, she thought about the IMEI or something. The skew bars. Oh, ain't that like um, star pound oh six pound? I guess you the IMEI. Yes, yes. I know no live two six nine two. I agree, man. Yeah, so now I'm muting. I'm muting and unmuting myself, so because <laughs> you're on speaker or whatever it is. So or, yeah, yeah. yeah um, I've pretty much mastered and got it. And, you know, in, in factory set every phone I've ever had. So I pretty yes, yeah, it's, it's very simple. Some are more complicated than that than others. Yeah, no, no, no. If we wasn't on the air right now, I'd, yeah, I'd just take it and do it for her or whatever. It's just she just came up with the question like randomly. Yeah, of course I can get it done. Because I've been trying to get it. Oh, hey, tell them about that story. Remember, remember that woman came and drove up to my store and they charged the money like for like 25 bucks. Like it was like, remember, and you were sitting there and you're like, why did you charge $25 for that? Remember, I factory reset her phone. Remember, she couldn't find, she she had been driving a long time just to find me. to. Mm -hmm. And then my wife was like, you charged her $25 for that? Like, that it can't. takes 2.5 seconds. Well, if you don't know how to do it, that, that now what what was this? How, how long ago was this? This was like almost three or four years ago. So factory resetting Androids and all that stuff was kind of new. It was like a I don't know some kind of cheapo LG something. I don't know what it was, but yeah. I remember up. she had come. She had come like from a state away just to, so I can factory reset her phone, and the charge are like twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. And my wife's looking at, me, and I literally like whoop whoop. I handed it back to her because it that was the time before the Google accounts, you know? Yeah. And she looks at me like, why did you charge her that much money? I'm like, um, well, you know. It was 2.5 seconds. Because you can. <laughs> because it was you can. Two seconds. 
Like, do you know how much money you can make if you actually charge somebody $25 for every two seconds you do something? <laughs> You'd be hella rich. <laughs> She, people want you to do something like that. I mean, why not? Somebody else would, or a, if you go into if you go into a you know a water store, they would do it. Oh yeah, dude. I remember I used to charge a lot for the uh, was that uh, jailbreak? The jailbreaks for the iPhones and the tablets. Remember when they had? No, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about rooting the phone flat or uh, nothing. I've never done it. Never tried it. So, is there, to, is there a way to bypass the password without having to hard reset your phone? Um, without hooking it up to the laptop. I wasn't listening. Okay, she's at. She's asking. Okay, because her her phone, the password, she forgot the password, or whatever. You know, most of the time she had to factory reset, and then do do the whole Google account thing. Hmm. No, no, we're talking about Android, not Apple. Uh. uh. No, I don't think no. That them days are gone. I think it's just it's mostly. Yeah, because this one dude was like, if you put your code in five times, this little thing will pop up in the in the freaking right hand corner that says forgot password. I've never seen that on my phone. Period. Yeah, ADD, point yeah, ADD commands. Yeah, yeah. So t yeah, you'd have to you'd have to have it where where it does the. I've never in my life seen that on any run. of my phones. Yeah. Uh, so this is a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at this guy. What guy? My hustles. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? So, Mill Hustles, what is your what is your statement for tonight, man? What what you got going on? Nothing, man. Just here. Got a couple beers in hand, and that's it. Nothing exciting. Beer. In my life. <laughs> so, so um, everyone in the audience, the job what's the hottest? Me? What's the hottest deal on on town, man? Uh, I um heard about a really awesome trading deal for the new S10e. I'm just trying to get more information on it, but I heard somewhere that put that with a right trade and you can get it as low as for 199 bucks. I haven't confirmed it. But I'm still researching. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot of issues about the what the Blade X Max. I mean, okay. Blade X Max freezes like crazy. Well, yeah, it's getting it's getting pretty old now. Now take, I can say it's getting kind of old. Take Twine B, what's going on? So I did not know that y'all was live tonight. How y'all? How long you been live? What about? 45, maybe about 40, 45 minutes, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, man. If you're late, man, you, you got to bring donuts, man. You got to bring you got to bring something to the table. Can't come in empty-handed if you're that late. No life Ask, is there any free free good phones out there for porting in now to other providers? To what provider? Any particular provider? Have y'all ever done that, like at the job or anywhere, like whatever? If you're late, you got to bring something. Nah. You gotta, you gotta I found a job that they made you uh, sing if you were late. Oh, goodness. That would be awful. That's incentive. Uh, right there is incentive enough right there to come in or to, to, to get there early. Yeah. I, uh, well, how's it I'm going, never really? late to work. I'm always too early. I always have <sighs> finished, you know. I hate that bro, I hate being so early, and you're like, you're just like walking around pacing every like, what the hell, man? I don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, Bill hey, Hustles, um, no love two six nine two was asking if there's any uh good free phones out there for porting for any carrier. What's the best free phone right now you can get for any carrier to port in for free? For free. Mm-hmm. 
I'm yeah. sure it's probably on, I'm sure it's probably on Metro, but I just don't know. Metro or Boost. Uh, I would say the uh, J7 if they're an Android person. I'm just throwing options that are available. Um, probably a J7 uh, iPhone SE if it's still free. I believe it is. Hey, oh, appreciate yeah. appreciate that, Mister Nick. Stylo Four. I don't think anybody would mind if I threw in a little link here one time tonight. Mm-hmm. I don't do that. I don't do this very often, but I think throwing in one time ain't gonna hurt nothing. So, anyway, let's see. And Kelsey's stepdad has Emacs Pro. Yeah, man, Zmax Pro. I mean, I think Zmax Pro is still still good, still good, still got a little bit of life left in it. Some people like uh, Mill Hustles were naysayers from the beginning. Which phone? The Zmax Pro. Oh, no, not the, was it Zmax Pro or the uh, no? What was it? The Blade X Max, right? What which one was it that you didn't you didn't dig? The ZT phone. She didn't like any of them for real, for real, did you? Well, I had a Z Max Pro. It farted out on me. Blade X Max farted out on me. What do you be doing to these phones, bro? They just can't handle my usage. <laughs> Heck, my A6, now that I've really been using it, it's starting to not be able to do what I need it to be done. You got to leave that, that uh, 360 VR uh, hub alone, man. <laughs> okay, There's I have no idea what that is. Sorry, I have no idea what that is. Oh my god, dude! Thank God that, thank God those galaxy. What was it? The Galaxy Note? What was it? The sevens that was blowing up, or the eights? I forget which one it was. Seven. Seven, man. Can you imagine that thing in a VR headset and going? Oh, that would have been ugly, dude. That would have been ugly. <sighs> yes, it would. That probably would have just. Samsung would have never been able to recover from that. Thank God that never had. Because didn't you even have to have the thing plugged in sometimes? Well, the thing about it was most of the incidents that happened was when they were charged, they were charging. Oh. Mm. So, but they, yeah, they definitely missed a bullet with that one. I know, dude. I'm at, on somebody's face, oh, Lord but, have mercy. But, but I heard that the Note 7 was the best note the best note that there was that was made I heard it was until so awesome nine. until well, yeah yeah, but yeah but I mean, it was my boss one of my bosses at a previous employer had uh got laid off from samsung after the note 7 fiasco but he said that that was the best note that they ever made but it was even yeah. better than the note 8 yeah it looked really nice too it's just it's just it's, it's just too bad that it was you know um you know, an explosive phone. Oh, that's cool, Mr. Nick. I just threw it in there, you know, just threw it in there one time. Just, uh, you know, anybody interested. <laughs> it's cool. It's no, it's no, uh, it's not, it's definitely not mandatory for sure. Definitely Ooh, I, like, not. I like that emoji. How do you make that YouTube emoji? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I seen that. I was like, huh. Pretty dope. I think I know how to do it. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. He calling and then that's it. How'd you do it, man? Uh, you type in con, you call in, then YT. You're cutting out again, man. Pretty bad. Oh, Mike Platt says, return my new mobile G3 Plus today because the NFC didn't work at all. Really wanted to like that phone, too. I know I need to try out my NFC on mine because my I got several phones with NFC. I, I have never tried. I don't use NFC, so it's not really important to me. 
Oh, yeah, man. I, I'm still a big fan of the Blade V8 Pro, man. That's still a really good phone, even though it didn't get nothing uh, above Marshmallow and it's running like a 2016, 2017 security patch. I never really use that phone anymore. That's a great phone still. It's, a, it's still a really good phone. Okay, it sounds really quiet on my end, so. Yep. Yep. Yeah, 5G is stupid. Yeah, I think 5G is going to be uh, just going to be crazy. Yeah, Marshmallow. Other than that, the G3 Plus seem awesome. Yeah, it's a really good, really good fall. Really solid, really solid, really solid fall. See, Butler asked MTR, what was your favorite part about Las Vegas, man? Um... And we can't hear him. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm planning on going live again, Mister Nick. I just I haven't I just haven't done it. I, I mean, I just haven't done it yet. But I am definitely going to be doing it here soon. So just hang around. And no, normally I will post it on Twitter or I put it in the community tab uh, before I do. Yo, can you hear me now? Or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the food. I think the food man was pretty pretty awesome. And they had all types of buffets and all types of crazy just food, dude. It's pretty so, so out of all of Vegas the food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it wasn't much I didn't do much exploring in Vegas, to be honest with you. I didn't have that milk. It's just kinda just there. Um Yeah, no left. I got the Meliella right here. It's always on. It's always on deck. I didn't do no gambling. Um, it was pretty late. Chill city. That's pretty see. Cool. That would have been my problem. Is the gambling? I mean, I'm not a gambler really, but if I got started, I wouldn't know when to stop. That's the problem. Oh shit! Can't even feel free now. Now I had to pay for my food and my um, my food and my transportation, but they pay for everything else: the uh, hotel and the airfare, and the ticket to get in. So my problem would be a little <laughs> bit different if I was over there. I know, I know, if I was over there long enough, I'd get into so much trouble. I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> it says if you meet a girl with an Alcatel Verso, would y'all lose interest? No, I don't. Like I guess say I don't care what kind of phone. I don't, I don't care what phone anybody uses. To be honest, um, I'm not one of the. I, me personally, I'm not one of these who is hardcore on a certain phone. You know, it don't matter what kind of phone it is. I'm sure that they'll all get 5G eventually, Tony Owens. I mean, I want to hold out as long as I can because, honestly, I don't care about 5G. I think I got my own thoughts about 5G, but, yeah. How about you just I'll give me 5G? Yeah, I'll take, yeah, I'll take 5G. That would be a lot better. <laughs> Uh oh. What's up, man? Uh, John, John got booted off. Yeah. He, he's been having connection issues about the whole night. Oh. Magic Tech, are you going to try and get invite or sponsor to the MWC? <sighs> Tickets to MWC are expensive, way more yeah. than CBS. Oh, I'm sure. I'm so sure. But if I was to go to, uh, you know, MWC, like I'd probably have a hundred videos every day. Yeah, I don't know why people didn't make didn't make a lot of videos over there. It's crazy to me. I pumped them out. They didn't really now, get too much traction though. Now MWC was what last week, and but there's going to be another one in October. Oh yeah. Oh, it says it's 2019. I don't know about all that. 
I mean, it, it says, you know, uh, I forgot to ask how you've been feeling. I heard you were sick a little while. Yeah, I'm doing better. I was sick about two weeks straight, and uh, I'm doing a lot better now. Thank you. very. Much. Thank you for asking. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sick too, guys. Why don't you ask about me? <laughs> I'm looking for Alex ask I'm looking for a phone that will work on Verizon less than 250 any good recommendations Yeah um Y'all got any recommendations I don't I don't do the Verizon thing like that for for I used to a lot now i use my humidigi f1 on verizon it's a little bit tricky and you got to put in this the right eight it's very tricky on the humidigi f1 uh this is it's a cd it's a gsm phone but you can use it on verizon however sometimes i mean I, I went driving a long time last night and i never lost lte service um but it's very tricky to get it to work on verizon i had to I had to really do a lot of this and that to get it to work, but um, I'm, not, I'm just not really sure. Yeah, appreciate that, C. Butler. Yeah, Mel, what you drinking on, bro? What kind of beer you got? Um, Nick Lobo. <laughs> yeah, Art Dog, I, I do have my Umini GF1 working on Verizon. What I had to do was I had to put my better SIM SIM card in the Umini G first. Then go to the APN settings because once you put a Verizon SIM card in there, the APN settings are gone. So what you got to do is put a GSM SIM card in there, go to the APN settings, put in the Verizon um, APN settings and save it. And it won't show up under the APNs with a GSM SIM card. But whenever you take the SIM card out and put in your Verizon SIM card, turn it on, it might still act, act a little bit funny. But what I do, what I done was I turn it, I put it, I put mine in airplane mode for a couple of minutes, took it out of airplane mode, 4G popped up. Um, and it's been working ever since. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a tricky situation to get it to work, but it, it, it can work. Yeah, Mr. Nick, I'm not trying to ignore you, not buddy, but it's three of us talking, so if you know. But what's up, Mr. Nick? <laughs> uh, Millie asked, "How much money a month do you spend on cell phone service?" I spend thirty nine bucks a month for my for my unlimited T-Mobile service, and I also got Total Wireless, which is hardly nothing because I'm on like a third line, third shared line. <laughs> Hmm. I haven't been drinking a hot minute. I need to. I need to get some beers, man. I haven't drank with y'all a little bit, and that's the only time I drink is when I'm live with y'all. So, last time I drank live, that's when the last time I drank. It's been a while back ago, hasn't it? You there? Say that again. All right. Have a good no life two six nine two. Thank you for joining in, man. I think we lost John again. Man, I'm gonna I think like, there he's well there he is there for a second. And he's gone again. I don't know Tony That's Owens, because. to be honest. But I think we're going to have to cut it off here because uh, John's having a lot of issues tonight with his service. Um, so it looks like we might have to cut it off here. Uh, yeah, Mike, yeah, I heard it total wireless went up on their gigs as well. What's going on, Andy Logan? How's it going, man? But yeah, John's having some issues tonight with his live stream and his data, I reckon. Is he back? 
I think I see his. I think I see his back. Not going live tonight, Kenneth. I will, I don't know when. I, I'm going live soon, man. I just don't know when yet. He's gone. Yep, yeah, he he left. He he left. I don't know. Uh, response to Mike Platt. Um, I, a lot of people can't do this, but I I work really well buzzed. Yeah, I need to be on the schedule. I know that, Kenneth. I've heard that a lot, but I, I, I'm just not much of a schedule type person. Uh, we miss your live streams, bro. Thank you, C. Butler. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I need to get back into it again. It's just that I'm right, right, just trying to get back into it. So, But anyway, you going to wrap this up, John? I know you're having some pretty bad issues right now. I'll just y'all say go ahead and say good night, and I'll cut it after y'all say whatever you're going to say. All right. Well, if you're here and you haven't subscribed to me, I'm CB Tech, of course. Uh, I'll just put hello here in the chat. That way you can push the little bubble beside it there and go to my channel and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. I'd appreciate it. And uh, I got some videos coming up soon. Um, so hang around. Same here, y'all. Subscribe <clears throat> to my channel for tech news and tech deals and sarcasm and there's the link oh and ah uh, that too <laughs> all right you didn't show me tonight mill hustles all right i'll see y'all bye guys